Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays, everyone! My name is Mikik, and for this year, here is my present to you folks. Just a nice short video showcasing a little bit of Stronghold action with one of my favorite heroes of all time, Big Daddy Tyraxor. In my past Stronghold base playthroughs, I've showcased what a wonderful job behemoths can do in clearing out the map. But, I always say that one of the strengths of Stronghold is that if you don't have that much gold, you can get by pretty well with their wolf raiders, orcs, and rocks. At a long last, after talking the talk, it's time for me to walk the walk. So now, for the more boring details, I'll be playing with the usual settings, with 8mm6 as my template, 8 player free-for-all, none strong, 2 types of roads on 200% difficulty. As I mentioned before, Stronghold's the game, and Tyraxor is the name. Oh, and my starting bonus will be resource, uh, since this will probably help with the pretty large amount of wood and ore I'll need in the early game. As the map loads, I just want to take this moment to say that if you're not already aware, many of the features you'll see in today's video, like splitting up armies quickly, the revamped user interface, extended hero details from earlier, that kind of stuff, that's all a part of the fan-made HD mod, and I will include a link in the description below for where you can get it if you don't already have it. For other frequently asked questions, make sure to check out the pinned post I'll leave behind in the comments section as well. Whew, alright. That out of the way, let's get right into the fun part. So keep in mind that for this playthrough, it's going to just be the first month, as with my usual other Christmas specials. Uh, yeah, where I just get to focus a little bit on... Uh, the early game, and showcasing what a certain strategy that I have cooked up for all of you uh, would look like. Okay, wow, this is looking like a pretty solid start. We have Jabarkus and Gunjula as two potential stronghold heroes uh, that I can get to get reinforcements from. Uh, and of course, I started off with three stack Tyrax work, which is actually quite rare. Um, yeah, the drawback to this start, though, is, of course, I don't have access to wolf pen, which is going to require me to get 10 wood and 5 ore. Well, let us cross our fingers that we can find these things as we progress through the map. Um, so we'll pick up this pile of ore because it's uh, close to the road, and this one looks like uh, these gremlins are blocking the road, so that's pretty good. So already we're off to a pretty interesting start. Uh, how many... Is it going to be here? Well, I guess it doesn't... Yeah, I'm curious. Let's see. Lots? Okay, that's actually not too bad. I'll have to bring my entire stack then, if that's the case. I'll just have to come back a little later. Uh, I will end my turn here, because I will get some goblins to help me out here. Uh, to help preserve some of these wolf riders. And fingers crossed that there's no master gremlins. Unfortunately, there are. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it looks like uh, Santa's giving the gift of gremlins to try and ruin my... Well, okay, maybe it's not Santa Claus, but it's the Grinch that's given me these silly little... Uh, silly little gremlins to just ruin my day. That's okay. That's okay. We can get by without it. We can get by just fine, even with these Master Gremlins. Okay, so obviously the reason I'm taking this fight is that I actually need to cut open a path, because right now, right now, uh, I actually need to, you know, keep on going down the road, but obviously the road is kind of cut off, uh, so yeah, that's why I'm pushing everybody over, and that's basically that. Uh, these two grum er, goblin stacks can head over this way. This one can cut this one off. Um, that way, these two will head over that way. And then, you can swing and take out these Master Grems. And hopefully, it's 
uh, well, I mean, I'm going to dismiss these guys at the end of the fight anyway uh, to maximize movement, so this will do the trick. All right, pretty straightforward. Managed to lose only the uh, Goblin 1 stacks, and I got to preserve my Wolf Riders in this fight. Um, yeah, now we keep going from here. Now, uh, let's hope for a Christmas miracle and that this is a 2k gold box. Oh my goodness, it's a 2k gold box. We're off to a flying start with uh, a pretty decent chunk of gold. And okay, well, maybe not so flying anymore now that we have these Magogs in the way. Um, yeah, so we're going to need to take some time to off-road and see if we can grab some gold elsewhere. And I don't quite have enough gold to get another hero just yet. Okay, now I have enough gold. And here I have a choice between either getting Jabarkus for the extra six orcs, or getting Gunjula. Now, I'd love to uh, get Gunjula and get some extra wolf raiders, but... Uh... Yeah, but I would rather get Jabarkus here because Jabarkus could probably start... Yeah, there we go. So, I want Gunjula for the Wolf Riders, but uh, Jabarkus is, has uh, some orcs that I can split off as a secondary hero. Uh, they can take battles without having to receive any additional reinforcements. So that's where I'm going to send her, in case I needed to, you know, cut this ore pit open and there's maybe like some weak fight, like, I don't know, goblins or something. And that would have been fine and dandy, but... Uh, as we can see here, there's a pack of zombies guarding this treasure chest. Now, what what should I do here? Should I... I mean, I can obviously win the fight. It's more a question of how many losses I can minimize here. I think I'm going to do it. Let's go. Three of them. We'll just uh, push it. Although, I think I could probably even just one-shot each of these stacks. So that's pretty good. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can debate them up this way. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to deal with these guys first. So I might actually lose some uh, wolf riders on this fight, unfortunately. But uh, if I can just get this treasure chest, get a town hall, that'll all be worth it. Okay, good. Uh, there we go. Alright, I actually even be able to, uh, oh, whoopsies, that is not what I meant to do. That was the uh, wrong stack that I moved. Okay, well, I'm not going to take the risk this time. There we go. Oh wow, they actually managed to uh, finish them off with that hit. Alright, wait for a second. Uh, and yeah, now I guess I'll just have to hit as hard as I can. I just realized these zombies are doing one damage each. Probably wouldn't hurt me very much if I just decided to, uh... If I decided to not even bother using the one stack. I could just save that, and then... Yeah, if these guys would just buzz off from the uh, main stack, that would be great. Or maybe I could actually just attack. I don't know why I'm hesitating so much. And I got morale! Look at that! Truly a Christmas miracle. Oh, a couple piles of gold. This should get me going. Of course, I'm one step short from hitting the uh, town hall next turn, but I could get myself started on the wolf pen at least. So this is pretty good. I got everything I need. I got wood. I got ore. I don't need, like, many precious resources. Uh, and then I'm actually now able to access town hall. A little late, but that's still fine. And then now I'm just missing the orc tower and the cliff nest. All right. So, not bad, not bad for what I'm trying to uh, demonstrate here. Um, yeah, and it looks like this path is uh, kind of cut off, so I might have to re... like, merge my armies in a couple of moments, but... Let's see what else we can find over here. Looks like we got some skeletons. Looks like we got some units going over this way. Um... Yeah, these Magogs, definitely, I want them to go. But I don't really want to push that until after this week's over. At the same time, I do want that Cliff Nest as well. And I also want the Orc Tower. So, what can a poor Meekick do? I'm going to probably have to cut this path open, it looks like. I'm just scared that it's going to be lots. 
and that there's not going to be really anything up here, but Ooh, this looks like a big, big trap. All right, sure, let's do it. Uh, I was like thinking about it. I'm like, I got one stack goblins, uh, even if it's high lots, I think I can take it. I just need to whittle them down, uh, stall them with the uh, big stacks here, with the uh, one stacks, I mean. And then we can keep these guys preoccupied for a couple moments. Draw out the retal, uh, get a nice little swing here, fire at them. And then that's basically all that really needs to be done here. The rest of this is pretty straightforward. These most of these fights that I'm taking are pretty simple. Like, there's not really much to be said about these battles. I, I think that more of my time would be better spent talking about, um, I guess, each unit's role in the uh, later stages of the game. In theory, um, now the reason why I praise having uh, wolf raiders and orcs and cliff nests is this is basically everything you need. Okay, like honestly, most of the other factions, like if you're playing even something like castle. If you're playing something like Fortress, you're going for like their tier six, or uh, well, I mean, I guess, I guess in the case of Stronghold, uh, you would typically go for Behe Lair. But in the event that you don't actually have enough gold, like this start right here, like like even if I tried to, like yeah, there's like some treasure chests over there, but I'm blocked off by my gods. Now, assuming that you hit these kinds of starts where you just don't have that much gold. Um, one of the advantages here is that you can go for uh, wolf raiders, which are very strong actually. They, they hit really hard because they strike twice and you know you get quite a number of them. Um, and then you get orcs, which are not like the strongest shooter. They're not nearly as strong as grand elves. They're tankier, but not as powerful, of course. Um, but, but the thing is, you just need this as a ranged unit. Uh, you need to combo that with uh, Wolf Raiders, and then you have these rocks, uh, and then if you turn them into Thunderbirds, they are a very formidable force. Like, speed 11 means that, you know, you can just have a hero with just Thunderbirds alone, and they are just super fast. Like, you can't really be beat if you're uh, trying to push and go super fast with them. All in all, it's, uh, it's, always, uh, it's always a fun ride. Rocking them, rocking them Thunderbirds, of course, whenever you can get your hands on them. Uh, but having said that, yeah, we will go for the uh, Orc Tower here. Uh, day 6 will be Rocks. And now here's the interesting thing. I'm not actually going to go for Sid. Ooh, what is that? The plot thickens. There's actually two piles of gold here, which is perfect. Um, yeah, or sorry, not two piles of gold. Or there's two piles of gold, yeah. But the other interesting thing is this is connected to this road, so uh, this is the other side of what that road will, will uh, lead into, of course. Um, so still this isn't enough, quite enough to get to uh, Behe's even if I tried, um, but here's the thing. I have enough to get, uh, to have made it to rocks, and there's Sir Mullock. I'm just going to pretend he's not there. Uh, I'm not really here to showcase Sir Mullock. I don't really care much for him. What I'm here to showcase are these three units, I guess, uh, in this kind of situation where you just don't have much gold. Now, um, here's the thing. I can go Citadel next turn if I want, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, why am I not going to do it? Well, the answer is quite simple. I just don't have the gold for it, or rather, I will have the gold for it. But if I skip the Citadel this time around, uh, then I have a bit more gold to work with that way. Uh... So start of next week, right away, I can go straight into the uh, Magogs and just deal with them. Now, unfortunately, what this also means is I will have to sideline Gunjula here, but I can go straight into Rock starting next turn, and then I can cut a path open with Jabarkus, uh, and hopefully free up Tyraxor, because Tyraxor is here right now. Um, and I'm putting him here on purpose, because think about this, right? I could move him... I guess I could actually move him to pick up that pile of gold, free up everything. But I want Big Daddy Tyraxor to be the guy to take all these fights, and I still need him to grab his Wolf Raiders and turn them, or Wolf Riders and turn them into Wolf Raiders. Once I can successfully get that upgrade, 
but I obviously don't want to run all the way back here. It's going to take me three turns to make it back, whereas I'm probably just better off freeing up this path here uh, with Jabarkus. Okay, great. So, that's uh, all said and done. I will also take a moment to buy out these three rocks, and we will just pass the turn here. Um, in this way, we are able to get uh, speed 6 on these guys, so that's pretty good. Or speed, sorry. J the Jabarkus that way has um, speed 7 as his slowest unit, as opposed to speed 5, so he has just a little bit more movement uh, for this push. Alright, very nice. We have now... Um, we have a bunch of birds. Very angry birds. And we got some goblins, and we got these guys. Uh, these came with the original heroes, so it's not like uh, I bought them or anything like that. From the town, so I still have uh, plenty of reinforcements. And I have, again, six rocks. Not, not bad, honestly. Rocks, like, they're not nearly as strong as, like, a tier 6, you know, like a proper tier 6, you know, like an Afridi. However, they come pretty darn close. Um, that's probably going to be quite a few. Probably going to guess about 40 of them? No, 30. Okay, that's not too bad. Alrighty. Wait. I didn't position my units properly on this fight, I admit, but whatever. Um. Yeah, this is a bit awkward because these goblins are in between, so the Magog Fireball attack is going to hit all these uh, stacks. Whoopsies. No. Um, I should have only brought... I shouldn't have brought this one stack goblin. I should have just left it at six stacks and it would have been okay. Oh well. Off to a great start for this demo. Uh, Alright, let's bring them over here. We'll bring these guys, yes, over here. No biggie. Wait. And now they're targeting the orcs, as I would have suspected. Um, yeah, another reason why it's nice having the orcs and the goblins here, and it's because the AI tends to prioritize going for goblins over the wolf raiders, and they also tend to prioritize uh, orcs over rocks, so that allows my rocks to get a free pass on uh, a lot of these fights. Oh boy, oh boy. There you go. And surprisingly, they targeted the uh, orcs. I put these guys, these goblins, in front specifically so that the Magogs would target them, but instead he went straight for the orcs. I guess they felt like because they, um, because these orcs are so damaged that they can do a lot of, like, they can actually kill more of them, so it's more worth the attack, I suppose. But either way, pretty straightforward battle. There's not really much to it, uh, just preserving units taking swings here and there, uh, and then of course, as well, just, uh, it's a bit easier for myself here, defend, this guy is not, well, he's injured, but, yeah, okay, the rest of this fight's pretty much just a joke, like, there's really nothing else to be said here, uh, and finish him off, alright, cut the path open, now, if I'd taken that fight last week with just goblins and wolf riders, uh, probably it would have been quite a bit more difficult, so I'm glad I kind of waited on this one. But now, the rest of this is uh, going to become uh, a bit interesting here. So, let's uh, attack these guys. These guys down. Okay. Draw the retail. Uh, take the hit. Swing here. Doesn't really matter, just losing a couple goblins here and there. Nothing I can really do about that. Just freeing up the path for this guy. Um, speaking of which, again, this is going to be a very similar situation as to what I was talking about earlier. Except these, this time they don't have the uh, fireball attack uh, that the Magogs had, so I don't have to be as careful. They're going to aim, probably, I'm guessing, at the orcs first, followed by the goblins. Um, nope, they're going straight for the goblins, but... Again, it uh, gives a little bit more, um, <clears throat> gives my rocks a free pass to just go and do whatever they want. Uh, I typically prefer to have the wolf riders to soak up the hits over the wolf raiders, 
but unfortunately I haven't quite made it to the Wolf Raiders yet. Uh, once I make it to the Wolf Raiders, that'll be great, but I know that I needed the rocks here so that they could actually get a nice push uh, to start on this map. Because this is honestly a pretty decent map that's... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. It's, it's a pretty solid map, like, uh, aside from the fact that the, the road was cut off, but, yeah. Uh, air magic. I'm not really going to be using too many air spells, I don't think, in this game. Okay. What's I going to do here? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yes, this Dwarven Treasury, that area is probably going to be next. So here's what has to go down. Um... I'm going to send this over to Tyraxor with some one stacks and just let him have a nice little push. Actually, probably this should be sufficient by itself for now. And I will grab this, well, maybe I'll grab the mercenary camp on the return trip. Oh, yes. Pack of air elementals, heck yes. Let's do it. Uh, I need the gold so that I can get my wolf raiders. Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to need to get this. Uh, because I'm going to need that as a prerequisite for wolf raiders. That's something to keep in mind, by the way. You can't just go straight into wolf raiders. It's not like if you're playing castle where you can just go straight into marksmen from archers. Nope, you actually have to get the hobgoblins first. So, um, from what I've seen a lot in competitive play, first turn build is usually hobgoblins followed by wolf raiders on turn two. And then usually after that, people will then start going into rocks uh, and then bears or they might go into orcs every now and then I don't know um, but yeah all right let's uh let's go with this fight first pack of air elementals although this actually might hurt I realize it probably would help me to have someone stacks on this um, yeah I'll take this one I think I can actually do just fine on this fight here Okay, maybe not. There you go. As long as they don't all get wrapped. Okay, that's fine. Take the swing here. Basically just have to keep hitting and running. I've got the Battle Dwarf stack, so I should be okay here. Definitely playing with fire on this one, but it had to be done. Aha! Uh, they do 12 damage. Now I should be okay. Alright, cool. That's a start. I got advanced offense, and I can grab this for 1,000 gold. Alright, good. And the next thing that'll happen is, of course, that... Uh, Jabarkus will head back to town, and then from town I can upgrade my wolf riders into wolf raiders, and hopefully, well, I also want to free up these two treasure chests. That would be really good too. I realize. Um, yeah, I do need to free up that treasure chest or those two treasure chests and get some gold. So let's actually do that. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw over a couple of these guys, and I'm going to throw over all these guys. I think that should do the trick. Uh, that'll prevent me from losing rocks. And at the same time, I will be able to... Um, okay, so there's no storm elementals either, so that makes things a little easier too. But, uh, yeah, basically, I want to make sure that in case there were high lots, or sorry, high pack of air elementals, that I could just draw the retails and not have to lose any rocks. But given uh, how much, how few of them there are, how much damage my rocks do, I don't even have to worry about that. So I could have actually even taken the fight on the last round, but again, it uh, never really hurts to be too safe in this. Gold, gold, and there you go, I'm up to 5k. That's pretty good. Um, and at this point, I think it's time for me to transfer everything back to Tyraxor, because I'm going to be uh, transferring everything over to Kruber, uh, where 
I can upgrade this now. Get some wolf raiders, and I'm gonna need those in the next fight. There we go. So, hopefully the uh, playthrough hasn't been too boring for you yet. It's just the uh, starting stages. Um, there you go. Plus one attack skill. And now I can start pushing for that Dwarven Treasury. That'll be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Should I get Crag Hack here? I think I could use his hobs, right? Well, no, nah, not really. Not right this second. He doesn't even come with any Wolf Raiders. I'm just going to focus on upgrading these guys and upgrading these ones getting a few extra and then later I'll deal with the rest then again I also just remembered that the reason I wanted to get crag hack is so I could reverse chain it back over to Tyraxor but of course I uh, didn't quite plan that far ahead um, yeah whoopsies well either way this is gonna have to do for now I'm just gonna have to improvise just a little bit um, but yeah, basically, I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be able to receive my reinforcements. And then, uh, I can go straight over into this Dwarven Treasury. Uh, Alright, so here's where things get interesting. Uh, this is my first battle with the Wolf Raiders. So, uh, here's, the, here's the thing with Wolf Raiders that like that I like to do. I like to have one stack of Wolf Raiders because... Wolf Raiders, in order to get one stacks for Wolf Raiders that go before the main stack of Wolf Raiders, you need one stack of Wolf Raiders. You obviously can't use Thunderbirds, or you can't really use, like, one stack Hobgoblins to draw out the retaliation. Like, you can if you go on the wait phase, but what if you need it right away, right? So that's why, in this case, I'm gonna need uh, two stacks, two one stacks of Wolf Raiders. Throng of Dwarves, alright. Let's cross our fingers for the best here. And it is going to be 5 by 20 Not bad. This is actually the perfect size to demo how uh, I would want these fights to go. So you basically just start off, you throw a 1 stack there, and then you attack with the Wolf Raider. Uh, and then for this guy, that's... well, he can't actually reach. But uh, just gonna wait for a second. Uh, for this stack, I can just go ahead and hit this straight up. They do hit pretty hard. I'm just going to make sure that they don't get hit again. Wait. 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 Okay, maybe... Maybe I position the rocks on the wrong stack here. That probably would have been a good idea to position them somewhere a little bit farther away. So yeah, this is the kind of situation I was talking about earlier where if the dwarves had gotten morale, they could have chosen between the hobs and the wolf raiders, and they probably would have gone hobs because they can kill more of the hobs than the uh, wolf raiders, so they usually prefer focusing those down instead. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I got this. So, uh, I draw out the retail on that stack. Uh, I draw out the retail on this stack. Uh, I can swing this stack with this one and yeah even if they get morale it should be fine so but this stack on the other hand could be a problem um, I don't want that to be a problem so I'm gonna push these guys back and the rest of this is uh, pretty much me just having to bite the bullet uh, on some of these hits because I kind of hooped up and I used some of my one stacks a little less wisely than I should have. Uh, hold on a second. I'm scared of the magic M word here. If they get the magic M word, then I lose a good chunk of this stack. Okay, good. I didn't want to have to overthink it. Alright, well, there you go. There's, uh,. There's the result of me poorly using my hobgoblins, but I did manage to save my wolf raiders and my rocks, which is great. 2,000 experience. I got logistics. That is absolutely fantastic. And it looks like I got Earth. Big Daddy Tyraxor paying it out, getting his good old level 4 Earth magic and level 3 logistics. 
Yeah, could not ask for a better developed Tyraxor. And he got all attack skill. That is just absolutely amazing. What a bro. And from here on out, uh, we have to keep going. Oh, yes, of course, the familiars. Now, here's where things start to uh, really pick up a little. Because I need to send Jabarkus back to town. Um, actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do it the other way around. Um, I'm going to try to maximize Jabarkus' movement so that he can get closer to the town, or as close to the town as, he, as possible. Um, pick it up with Crag Hack, deliver to Tyraxor, and then Tyraxor should be able to get a free pass here. Crag Hack, I can now have enough gold to buy him. And honestly, at this point, I could even go Citadel if I want. That's not what I'm here for. By the way, the other thing too is, I took that fight with Tyraxor not just because uh, it helps a lot with the Wolf Raiders, but also because he needs the XP. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. Uh, oh wow, I can actually go almost all the way to the town. Alright, well, either way. Let's uh, transfer to Crag Hack what we've got here. And... I just realized I don't have any wood. Wow, well this is embarrassing. Uh, well actually, that's okay. That's okay because I can just leave the... Uh, well, I can just do this um, to improvise and make it look like this was all planned. I'm going to leave the rocks behind, uh, and I'm going to bring out the orcs, or purchase the orcs here. That way, I have a way to go and push this southwest fight uh, against those familiars. Alright, and then we get to cut a path open. Now, I don't really want to try and push a Nagabank, um... Yeah, depending on the size, it's doable, but that's just all kinds of scary. And there we go. Familiars. Alright, so here's a chance for the orcs to shine. Uh, let's get them to do their thing. Now, normally, again, at this point in the game, I would just be non-stop taking every fight with, uh, with the classic um, behemoths and just auto-combating everything. But yeah, right? Like, this is, this is uh, one of those games where I don't have enough gold to go and do that. Um, so, okay, there we go. That's how it's done. So yeah, this is how you can make use of these guys. Ooh, and then I can free up the path here. And I don't even really need to draw out the retail because I can just go swing and then swing. And hopefully the other side, or the fight on the other side will be also as easy. I don't know why I'm so scared of these gogs. I should probably just deal with the gogs. Oh yes, two paths here. I'm going to Redwood Observatory. Actually, I do need to clear this out, I realize, because this actually gives me wood, uh, which I need to upgrade my rocks and the Thunderbirds, and then I can actually mount a push. Maybe if I'm quick about it, I can access the town by 131. Anyway, uh, here we go. And you guys can basically reach straight up. I mean, I'm not at expert tactics yet, so I still will bleed some hobs here. No, they're going for the uh, orcs. That kind of makes sense, actually, but still. Just a little bit surprised. I can't help but be just a little surprised here. Um, okay, let me think about this for a second. Uh, yeah, I go here, I swing these guys. I think I just need to go like this, like this. There we go, perfect. I don't like that. So now the, uh, the neither neither sets of or neither set of gogs can actually reach my wolf raiders unless they get the magic M word, which uh, yeah, in this case I'm actually willing to risk for once. But well, there you go. Move them out of the way. The wolf raiders do their thing, and get myself a pile of wood. And before I actually pick that up, I just wanted to quickly uh, see if um, I need... Okay, so I don't actually need the um, the treasure chest for wood. That's what I was checking for, because... Er, not treasure chest for wood. I don't need it for gold. I was actually tempted to see if I should pick it up for gold, but at this point, I have everything I need. I've got the goblin barracks, or upgraded hobs, upgraded wolf raiders, 
I've got Thunderbirds, I've got Orcs. All that's really left at this point is to start going for Citadel, but I think I can make do with what I've got for the time being. So, out of this treasure chest, I get experience, and I can start developing Tyraxor. Eight attack skill Tyraxor, this is quite a start. But this is not to be unexpected out of a Barbarian. Uh, barbarians just love being... Well, Barbarians be like this. They, they love smorking, you know? That's their thing. And it looks like this wagon this entire time could have just given me four wood. Um, yeah. I'm telling you guys, it's a, it's a very early Christmas from the game. Ooh. And we shall throw these birds over to Tyraxor. Now, here's the interesting thing. I could actually split my army in two here. Uh, normally, I can normally get... Okay, I gotta take every fight because I need the XP, but... Normally, I can just get... Um, Tyraxor with his current army. Well, actually, that's not advisable. Like, if I know that there's no AI in the area, I could, like, have one army with uh, the Wolf Raiders and all the other units, and then have another army of Thunderbirds, and Thunderbirds could be, like, a really fast Blitz army. Blitz army meaning, like, well, it's exactly as it sounds like. They would go and uh, push uh, on their own, like, a lot of fights, and they'd just be really fast. But in this case... Um, oh, okay, good. In this case, we, uh, we don't have that, so... Or, in this case, I don't think it's a good idea. So yeah, you'll notice that I left the uh, Harpy Hags, or I left the Hobgoblin here so that the Harpy Hags would hit them and then have to return back to that uh, little hex there. It's pretty good. Um, that way, in case they got morale, they would then be able to, to cross and I don't have to worry about... Basically, I don't have to worry about them in this way. Alright, so back Gold Golems, treasure chest here. And another Stronghold Town. Wow, that's very nice, but I'm going to tell you guys what. Hmm. Uh, that feels a little too convenient, to tell you the truth. I feel like if I were to take that stronghold town, and I were to uh, start trying to build up extra wolf raiders, y'all would cry foul. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just thinking here, though. This is probably a Tan's uh, zone, I think, here. I can't see, but... Go on and let me guess that he wasn't quite able to break the Diamond Golems, but I do want to at least shut down Tan here, even if I don't myself buy the units out of that Stronghold Town. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. Let's start pushing. Alright, that is a lot of them. And man, what a game so far. I really hope I don't butcher this. As I'm typically prone to doing. Good old Thunderbirds. Good old Wolf Raiders. Freaking ready to just one-shot whatever stacks they come across. Ooh, Wisdom. The thing is, I'll be offered Wisdom at level 12 anyway. Um, I'm gonna go focus on or logistics for now. Maximize Tyraxor's potential at this stage of the game. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I might even be able to reach their town here if I just keep going right at it, so I'm going to do just that. Alright, well, here's going to be a fight where I might have to put just a wee bit more effort, because these guys are actually pretty tanky. I can't just one-shot them, but they don't get the magic emerald, ordered, so that's pretty good. But for those who don't know, I'm talking about morale. Uh, in case, you know, you might be like a first-time viewer and never seen my videos and see me complain about it and yada yada yada. Well, there you go. Uh, e yeah, okay. Bam. There you go. That lightning bolt did, did the trick. You know, three damage. Why not, right? Uh. What? They weren't able to kill it? Man, too weak. Too weak, I tell you. These hobgoblins have gotten soft. They don't have the power to smork like their brethren. And it looks like they have a castle. Now I'm going to go on a limb and guess that they're going to focus down the uh, 
the uh, orcs here. But that should be just fine for me. Actually, I'll probably just go like this. That'll do the trick. Alright. I mean, if they target... Normally I would one-stack the hobs, but if they target the hobs, that's, that's great for me. Um, oh, okay. Well, I got to keep my orcs then. I thought that I was pretty sure they would target the... Uh, orcs over the hobs. Maybe it's because I pushed them forward. It doesn't really matter either way. I'm gonna get my Thunderbirds in on first try. There you go. Skeleton swing, and then get a nice finisher here. And then I can go archery if I want, uh, but it would just be for the uh, orcs. I don't personally think it's worth it. I think I should just focus on trying to get um, Expert Earth if possible. Alright, so... Now I have to fight Charna, and they were so generous enough to donate me this town. I won't buy out any of the reinforcements, but I will get this. I think this is only fair. There you go. We got uh, good old Tyraxor with freaking uh, 10 attack already. That's that's a pretty darn good start, if I do say so myself. And then, of course, I probably want a spellbook, which conveniently also comes with slow. Uh, he's almost certainly going to attack me this turn, because he will want his town back. He's going to be pretty peeved that I hijacked it from under his belt. So, um, I'm going to take this opportunity to just camp it out. And I'm not going to bother trying to maximize the amount of movement I'm going to have for next turn, because it's simply just not going to matter. He's going to attack in a couple sec... Kins. Okay, well, that was unexpected, to say the least. I was fully expecting him to try and uh, engage. Okay, well, it seems we have reached an impasse. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do here then, if that's the case. This was not quite what I was expecting, but okay. Um, yeah, well, I'm getting some reinforcements next turn, and I'm also getting Crag Hack, so let's pop this open. Ooh, pack of sharpshooters, my goodness. All right, must be uh, Christmas. Oh, would you look at that? It actually is. All right, well, uh, what can we do about this? I want to pick up those Equestrians, uh, and I'm going up against Sharpshooters, that's the thing, but I kind of wait until, I want to wait until next week before I grab that, uh, just because I would rather have the Thunderbirds insurance, and man, oh man, that's going to be a lot of units. I could certainly take that. I was going to try to hold the town with the uh, castle, but I think I'll just take them the old-fashioned way right here. Uh, cross my fingers, I don't have many spell points because it's only Charna. Indeed, I am correct. I'll probably eat a magic arrow to the face with, uh, on my wolf raiders, with my wolf raiders, but the rest of that should be just fine. It's even better. Even better. I have the spell for that. Bam! We do 8 damage, and I managed to kill 2. Fine. So it's a pretty uh, fair trade, I would say. I want to pull these guys up north. Honestly, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, well, they didn't quite come forward like I was expecting. <coughs> okay, well, that doesn't really do much by itself, I suppose. Uh... Yeah... Should have just unslowed them earlier when I had the chance. Actually, you know what? I'll just hit these guys. I'll hit these guys. There you go. Boom. Oh, okay. Well, this also works uh, quite nicely. Overthinking this. All of this, basically, I'm gonna throw the hobs over here, try to slow them down. Cross my fingers that the ogre doesn't get his stupid... Oh, actually, what am I talking about? They can't even get morale because they have that stupid skeleton. That's part of the reason I was willing to take this fight in the first place. Um, yeah, I don't even really need to use up spell points for this fight, do I? Yep, nope, I don't. Swing. Boom. And... Get a nice little swing off here. And finish them off, finish them off, and all I lost was one hob, which I probably could have even avoided if I really wanted to, but... 
Anyway, whatever. Advanced Earth. Uh, Cursed Temple owned by town players, so probably he's got a town here somewhere. And I'm positioned perfectly just to squat and do nothing until next week's reinforcements show up. Having said that, I don't really know how much, how many reinforcements I'm getting next week for my main town. Um, I just managed to steal a town, so it'd be worth it to pick up a citadel. But then again, if I pick up a citadel, I can't actually grab the reinforcements. And I kind of need tempo because I wanted to show what uh, having these units can do. Like, I can get an extra Thunderbird with, with the citadel. I can get, how many would it be? I can get like an additional four, I believe. Uh, wolf Riders, but then that's like that's like 2,500 gold for that. And I'm not exactly swimming in cash right now. Uh, <clears throat> I'm waiting for next week's hero, or I still need to get a hero for next week to start transferring the units over. And I need to buy the Thunderbirds, and I need to buy the Wolf Raiders, and I need to upgrade these guys, and get the Orcs over here, and buy out these guys, and that's actually just enough, I realize. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy them. Why not? I was tempted to actually get a marketplace this turn, but whatever. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna leave two hobs behind, just in case I need to uh, fetch out another hero with a high movement speed hero, or a high movement speed unit. And... Yeah... For this fight, I realize I got expert tactics. I got nothing to really worry about. I'm just gonna take the fight straight up. Or I could've... Honestly, I might even just be able to push Tan's other town. I think that's probably the play here. I'm just gonna go for it. It's, probably, it's gotta be close. Like, can't be that far, right? And I don't think that they would've developed it, so I don't really think I'm in danger of getting uh, killed here. Uh, since... Um, yeah, I'm probably not in danger of getting killed here, because... Yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb and guess that they spent all their gold and time growing the uh, the main town. So almost certainly they're not gonna be developing their side towns here. Let me get this for gold. Kind of need it. I want to grab, grab it for XP, but again, I need all the gold right now. Uh, in this case, because I am actually going to get another hero from here. Now, what hero do I want to get? Demer is always a fun hero to mess around with, but in this case, I want to get Ryland, because Ryland has some dwarves I can use to defend this town with. And then I can send Ryland northwest to receive army uh, a little later. Because here's the thing. You know, making a... Oh, there you go. There's town. I'm gonna go kill him quickly. I assume that, yep, it's just a straggler over there. Let's go get some spell power. Kinda need that. Let's kill Nagash quickly. Uh, I don't even think that this is worth taking myself uh, as a fight. Plus defense. Okay, that's pretty good. And it's gotta be here somewhere. Yo, how far do I have to go? Bruh. Okay, well, I'll kill Yog along the way, I guess, but... The whole point of this was for me to showcase that, yeah, I'm going to bring, I'm going to reverse chain my army, but I didn't expect it to be so far. I, like I said earlier, I was like, yeah, it's got to be pretty close. My, that was my prediction, because I just didn't think it was going to, like, the path was going to wind so far that direction. Like, why? Right? Like, man, that's not what I'm here for. Alright, Yog. He apparently has a horde of skeletons. And possibly a spellbook. Probably a spellbook. But, uh, bad morale. So, have nothing to be worried about. I'm gonna focus down first. Maybe position myself to deal with, myself to deal with these, uh, rocks. Or orcs. And I don't know why I put them in full damage range for those orcs, but, you know. Brilliant plays by yours truly. Okay, yeah, these guys are probably gonna need a little bit more. Uh, they need me to use up a one stack or something. 
or I can just whittle them away and then try to get a nice full damage hit. Ah, don't even, doesn't even really matter. What? They survived? They actually survived the first hit. That's crazy. I thought that that would insta-kill them. Um, that was my bad. Otherwise, I would have just used the one stack, but it doesn't really matter either way. Or even throwing a magic arrow at them. But yeah. Uh, got careless there. It doesn't really matter if just one extra wolf raider, I guess, or two extra wolf raiders, but still. Kind of disappointed to save uh, William the Wolf Raider. At least that was my plan. There you go. They're just dead. Uh, Alright, what to do here? Uh, these guys are more threatening. Yep, let's take a swing at them first. Okay, well I guess we'll just kill them both at the same time then. Uh, wolf Raiders can for sure one-shot this. Unless they really low roll, I guess. And the Thunderbirds can deal with that. Alright. Expert offense. I'm not really off-roading, so I'm not going to bother with basic pathfinding here. Town has been vanquished. Okay, that was their last hero. I thought that there would be a town here, but apparently not. Now it's time for me to try and reverse uh, chain everything. Perfect. Got that out of my system. Um, yeah. Tell you the truth, I sent Ryland the wrong way. Should have kept them uh, this way. Okay, so there's Pink. He's doing his own thing. I don't really care much for him. Uh, what was I here? Oh yeah, he's coming back in about two turns anyway. So, let's make sure that he's... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I need to go like this. Deliver everything over. Apparently I still have, like, literally no artifacts that aren't spell scrolls or this thing. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna... should probably hit that too, but whatever. I'm gonna hit this. Yeah, poor man's out. Flee from battle. Bring him back over here. In my town, which I'm pretending I can't double build in. Ah, right. Here's where things get a little interesting, so I, of course, don't quite have enough movement to bring Ryland all the way back. However, I do have Sorg here, and what Sorg can do is actually go and turn, uh, push a Thunderbird over. And probably I could send this hero through here to meet up with Ryland and... Uh, now, I think I'm actually in a pretty good position to send Ryland out to explore entirely on his own. He's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine going this route. And then we just have Tyraxor by himself over here. Alright. Tyraxor will be hitting this, of course, next turn. And then, I'm going to send him on a journey to go up north to have some fun with this entire area and see where he'll be at the end of all of this. Now... At this point in the game, I could honestly start pushing this hive uh, and then rotating back over. Like, if I were actually trying to play this, like, super seriously, or if I were, you know, trying to, like, like, if this were, like, a PvP game or something, I probably would have hit, uh, like, the next two things, three things I would have done is I would have hit these Equestrians, then I would have actually pushed this hive, because I'm pretty sure Tyrax work could do it with his current army now. And then probably I would rotate back over into this hive uh, with Tyraxor as well. But uh, again, and then of course I would move down to this hive uh, after all that. So I'd, I'd probably have a stack of like some, I don't know, 15 wives. then maybe I'd hit this Kanza and I'd build an army like that. But of course I want to have some fun with my with my birds. Because I'm a, I'm a bird person, you know? I do like the birds. So we're going to let them do their thing here, and we're also going to have some fun with some wolf raiders, so, yep, that's the plan. At this point, too, uh, yeah, this week I could totally go for Behees, but uh, let's focus our efforts on just trying to grow an army of rocks and thunderbirds and whatnot. Well, thunderbirds and wolf raiders, I mean, but you yeah, guys get what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I still don't really know what to do with these guys. Crag Hack is just chilling. Everybody's here, but oh, you know what? I'll send him down and pick up this sawmill. Seems like a pretty good plan. I don't think there's anything else in this area that needs to be done. There's some paths that could be explored. 
I could explore also up north this way, but that's a task I was going to leave for Jabarkus. Yeah, all in all, everything's looking pretty good. Pass the turn. And let us continue. Ryland, uh, this is pretty straightforward. Just for, just for amusement's sake, I'm also going to hit up some of these obelisks, see quite what I'm getting myself into here. And yeah, so Teraxor, again, uh, can go and do this. Alright, perfect. Uh, I think I'm in a pretty good position to get these Quistrians now, so that's pretty good. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. It's not quite what I was expecting out of this. But, um... Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay, let me actually calculate this in my head for a change. Uh... If I kill four, they retaliate for nine by nine by nine of them, and then divide by two because of uh, range attacker penalty. So yeah, this actually should be yeah I should be able to get by without losing a unit. There we go, perfect. Don't want to lose a bird for no reason, so to run that calculation quickly. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna grab this, save a little bit of movement that way, and throw those Equestrians over to this bad boy right here. And yeah, this guy's just gonna keep going for it. Yeah, this guy's ready. Uh, yeah, it's time to have some fun. Now, I know that there's this Learning Stone over here, but honestly, uh, at this point, I think, with so few days left in this playthrough, it seems a little short. Maybe I'll extend it just a little bit for a change. Uh, because I'm not done having fun gro like growing Tyraxor's attack skill to massive proportions yet. Um, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to skip the uh, Black Knights. I don't yet have... Uh, I do not yet have... Mass Slow. Or Expert Earth, I mean. So it's not going to be a thing yet. I'll probably push the Ogres next. And then everything will be all hunky-dory. Uh, Kraghack. Okay, what else can we do with you, buddy? Let's uh, send you back this way. And Jabarkus. We'll free up everything here, I believe. Or, well, he's going to clear out the... You know what? I know what I need to do with Jabarkus. He's basically going to be on standby to maximize Tyrax worth movement. Perfect. Problem solved. I don't even know where to send Sorg anymore. Uh, okay, let's go westward then. Alright, cool. Very nice. Now, we have Tyraxor with 2,900 movement points. And keep in mind, this is without boots of speed, and this is also without Stable's bonus, which is absolutely insane. Uh, let's actually move Ryland, because that's the uh, easiest part of the turn. He's basically just going around, freaking checking everything out here on this side. So... He's going to go and do that. Craghack, go. Well, I'm going to ignore Craghack, actually, for a second here. Okay, we got to have some fun now. There we go. Get Tyraxor to do his thing over here. Clean out lots of ogres. Um, this isn't really a mandatory fight, although I guess they are technically blocking the road, so this kind of helps. But more than anything else, I just wanted to do this fight for the XP. It's always... Uh, it's always important. Or I could just one-shot him. That was unexpected, but yeah. Right. I forget that, uh, yeah, when it comes to Barbarians... Sorry, when it comes to Tyraxor, this guy's no joke. Like, yeah, Kraghack gets harder, but, you know. This guy... Hits pretty freaking hard. Um, okay, so, again, I could clear out the air elementals off-road and hit the learning stone, but let's not do that. Let's let's do things that are on the road that that's going to maximize the amount of XP that I gain, particularly the gold golems, pegasi, and iron golems, because I wanna, really want to see what I can do by the end of this month here. Uh, I'm not even level 10 yet, so this also is no bueno. 
Uh, let me... Loins of Legion. That's third level unit, so I'd actually be getting extra orcs. Darn, I don't have enough... Uh, I don't have nearly as many uh, orcs as I would want, but that's mostly because of... Well, mostly accidents from earlier, but... Things do happen, I guess. Where I do have to lose my orcs from time to time. Because they happen to be the unit that gets focused the most, but then, of course, that also allows my wolf raiders to shine, which I guess I can't really complain too much about. Alright, uh... What can we even do here? I don't know. I don't know what I feel like doing. Help me out, Twitch chat. Oh wait, not streaming. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way then. I have to decide for myself. It's kind of like deciding what I want to eat, you know? You just don't really know. You just never know. You just want somebody to just make the decision for you. Alright, I needed to draw out the retails, but here we are. I uh, managed to clear out that side and probably this side in a couple seconds. Oh yeah, well, that should be pretty straightforward. I know most of these fights are pretty trivial, but again, um, yeah, these guys can do some work. Like I'm telling you right now. Now with the amount of damage these guys do, or er, the attack skill that Craghack has, also does a pretty enormous amount of damage, or these stacks do a pretty enormous amount of damage. Let's play it on the safe side for a change. Um, there you go. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Expert Earth Magic. That puts us up to a position where I can use Mass Slow. Now I can freely farm everything else that I feel like without uh, having to worry. Then again, usually in these playthroughs I say that I don't use Mass Slow, all that jazz, but... Um, for this one, I'm gonna actually, I'm actually going to uh, roll with it, just because in like my past playthroughs with like, uh, well, I mean demon farming doesn't count, but when I showcase like my portal of summoning and showcase the vampire lords, um, the thing is those were pretty broken by themselves, uh, but here I feel like I don't know how to how to word this in a way that makes sense. I guess it's like, like you never really needed mass slow to make vampire lords effective, and you don't need mass slow to make. I guess the easiest way to explain this is, um, I feel like you get a lot more out of having mass slow when you have like an actual army to fight with, as opposed to just cheesing everything with vampire lords or using abusing portal of summoning to like just stack up on dragons. Um, and I guess also, the thing is, if we do a comparison, you know, between like demon farming, portal summoning, like, it's, it's not, er, vampire lords and then this video here, this strategy, it's not like I want to try and promote one strategy as being better than the others, and I really don't want people to think in that way. It's kind of like, when you're playing these factions, you know, there's certain strategies that are or are not viable. Um, Like, what I mean by this is, like, Portal of Summoning, right? Like, if you don't have an external dwelling, that could be a problem for you. Uh, I can actually afford not to use slow in this fight, to be honest. But anyway, uh, basically, when, depending on the situation you're given, you can use some of these strategies at different times, right? Like, like I mean, I think this is fairly obvious, but... I guess it's kind of like if you're playing stronghold in like the, the purpose of this video I guess is like if you're ever playing stronghold and you're like broke like you have no money none at all then yeah this is uh, something that you can look back at and be like oh yeah I remember when me kick actually had uh, had shown Kind of like how to, how he would have played out something like that, right? Uh, a situation where you don't actually have too much gold to work with, and um, compare that to like Portal of Summoning, where yeah, it's 
you know, I had like, what, nine dragons uh, at the end of the first month, which was pretty insane. But obviously that was when all the stars aligned and uh, I needed a dragon cave for that. But this strategy, you don't need a dragon cave for it. Um, it's, it's something that's always going to be available to you, having uh, wolf raider, thunderbirds, and orcs, and just having them push everything. Um, it's same story with, like, vampire lords, I guess. Like, like it also has its weaknesses. Like, all of them have their, you know, uh, strengths and weaknesses, I guess, those cheese strats. And this is, I guess, not comparable to that, because this is, like, an approach for how you would play Stronghold normally in most matches if you don't have much gold. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. Uh, but yeah, I, I was just reflecting on some of the past Christmas specials I've done where I've gone over like some of these cool strategies that I want to show you guys and all that just 10,000 gold! Oh my damn! Uh, yeah. Looks like we are going ham. Okay, so, yeah, again, this is roughly where I send your Barkus down, down over here to start uh, seeing what's on that side, whereas with Tyraxor, I don't know why I still have to take these fights, it's kind of annoying, actually, that I still have to uh, do these more trivial battles. Uh, I'm going to start pushing straight west. I don't really know where this path takes me to, though. That's what I'm curious about now. Also, something else I wanted to uh, bring up at this point. Uh, if you guys pay close attention, you'll also notice that at this point, my wolf raiders are hitting for almost three, well, on average about 360 damage a hit, and they swing twice. Two hits, so they're doing 720 damage, which is pretty good for a ground stack. Like, it's not as strong as like an army of like what you know 50 demons even or like a few, uh like a wyvern stack or whatever but these guys hit hard these guys actually hit pretty hard for just having like stacked a bunch of them uh, so early on in the game there you go perfect timing uh, just enough movement and i can just uh take a chill pill here just relax I didn't do anything about it. Uh, I could also go good old capital. I gotta do it. They donated me a city hall. Might as well take advantage of the fact that this town's in a relatively safe spot. Uh, position Craghack and Sorg to uh, deliver reinforcements like on the fly. And yeah, I just don't think gold is a limiting factor here ever since I grabbed that uh, beautiful Pandora's box. So let's just chill. And I actually should have sent somebody uh, southwest. I, I realized I immediately regret ending my turn, but all right. Well, probably at this point, uh, I can expect that Jabarkus is going to die. I don't really care much for that. And I actually get a free town. Oh, that's even better. My goodness. Thanks, AI. It's just uh, AI that just keeps on giving. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of vision here that I can see. Ooh, very nice. Goodness gracious, that is, that is a lot of vision. Look at that, good old advanced scouting on uh, Deemer. Uh, Alright, what do we got now? 2900 movement, ah yes, so this is what I was talking about. On this hero, or on this town, I should have sent somebody to, okay, well, maybe I'll send another hero then to, to also check it out. Uh... Yeah, I should be able to just auto-combat this, I think. Oh, I might not be able to, actually. Hmm. You got morale act. Actually, could be a problem, I realize. Okay. Bam! Uh, there we go. There we go. Not bad. Alright. Uh, 
13 damage. I could actually survive this, yeah. This should be okay. I'm just trying to calculate if uh, I can survive getting retailed by all these walking dead. I'm getting close though. If I don't get any lightning bolts, that could actually be a problem for any lightning bolt box. And that makes things a little easier. Okay, it should be. I should be okay, right? Hope so. Okay, the suspense is killing me. I'm hitting the 19 stack after this. Just to, just to know. Oh, there you go. Okay, yep, I'm good. Basic logistics. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't see myself using this hero for very long. Okay. Well, at least now I know that this is just a dead end over here. I could free up the path and push down southwest, but probably get some action on this side. Or perhaps better yet, I should bring back good old Tyraxor. Um. Yeah, I actually kind of wanted to get Tyraxor over here to go and clear out these evil eyes. You could certainly do it by now, and I'd get a massive stat boost. Yeah, no, it just seems like a pretty solid place to be. Um, and the thing is, there's this Naga Bank. I don't know if I want to push that right after. You gotta think about this for a sec. Get some crazy stat boosts, get some XP. Get some gold. That way, when I inevitably build my castle... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go that route. I'm definitely gonna go that route. Who am I even kidding? Alright. And this is where I think there's probably gonna be a dead end. And there's more piles of gold here, too. It's even better. Um, Alright, so let's send this girl out to scout. I probably should have sent her a hob goblin, but I didn't really expect these heroes to last very long anyway. Okay. Probably gonna be poor manzing with this hero in a couple seconds. Can I ch like hero chain this back? Yeah, I think I can actually. This is this is perfect. Uh, first aid tent, why not? All right. Alright, we're actually in a pretty good spot right now. So, now, uh, I could do the classic poor man's with my favorite tactics. Well, it's not actually my favorite uh, secondary, but still. Uh, okay, so Kruber. Where are we at here? I'm gonna upgrade uh, my guy into a wolf raider. Why not? Might as well. And, again, there's like a bunch of Naga Banks. I could honestly farm this Naga Bank too, with, with Tyrax, so I got mass slow, but then again, that's like way off-road. That's way, way, way off-road. I'm not going to do that one. Uh, but I will do this one. And I don't actually know what Tyrax gets on his next level up, but I mean, he's a Barbarian, so usually it turns out pretty good. Usually. Usually. I hope. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Seems like a Pretty solid setup here. Alright, Tyraxor, let's see what you can do. Push this, and the thing is, too, that's that was a Library of Enlightenment with the Pile of Mercury, so it's a little bit more than I bargained for here. I'm gonna probably lose some orcs. I really hope that they aim at hobgoblins or orcs here. I'd be pretty upset if they aimed at my wolf raiders. I mean, I don't remember if I used this phrase to describe the wolf raiders uh, earlier. But I like to look at them as like glass cannons. They're uh, the glass cannons of Home 3, I guess you could say. Easiest way to describe them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, let's go mass stone skin. It's one of the times where that actually might come in pretty useful. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're going for hops. What? That's strange. I don't know why they're shifting targets and why they don't 
aim at the works instead, but okay. It's uh, a bit unexpected. Maybe I'll send the Hobbs in. Yeah, I kind of want to send the Hobbs in. Sure. Why not? And... Bam! Wow, wasn't quite enough to kill him, it seems. Uh... Wow. They really can't kill him. Alright. Uh, blind would have been great right about now, too. But, uh, this will have to do. No biggie. Wow, I really can't kill that stack no matter what I do. Um, ace these guys. Yeah, that would actually be a pretty good idea. Ace them. Let them have some fun. Uh, these guys can take out the stack. And then, I'll position these guys right here. There you go. Good old Hobbs. Just gotta tank the hits a little bit. Sorry. Silly Hobbs. But, uh, that's what you're here for. And I'm gonna lose another Wolf Raider here, but... Actually, I can cure. Nope. Uh, I think it doesn't matter. I'd be able to just... Yeah, there we go. And... Defend... And there goes my Hobgoblin. Actually, no, my Hobgoblin survived. Wow. Harry the Hobgoblin, the last survivor. And I lost seven Wolf Raiders, really unfortunate. But again, I got to free... Ooh, basic luck or basic leadership. That is not bad at all. Imagine having... Luck actually sounds like a bit of fun, because you could have a lucky strike on Wolf Raiders. Oh man, that would be... Insane, but then again, also basic leadership also sounds very good uh, because then if I get two turns with the wolf fairs, that's technically even better. So I'm gonna hit basic leadership, of course. Well, I'm not really merging armies though. I have plus one morale. Yeah, I'm gonna go leadership. Yeah, it's not too bad. For uh, I mean, I was saying earlier that yeah, as a barbarian, I can expect to get good skills. And I guess that falls under the realm of good skills. There you go, look at those stats. 14, 10, 6, 4. And that is without having an artifact that boosts attack skill. Alright, how much gold am I even making here? 6.3k. Uh, speaking of Oh yeah, I don't have enough gold for Town Hall, no wonder. 6.3k gold. Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. I actually have enough for my reinforcement. Well, no I don't actually. I need a, uh, I need my castle. Yeah, okay. I'm going to push this. I've got no choice. Uh, I wish to engage. Yeah, why not? Because I've got tactics, so this is auto-combatable. Uh, and Sorg actually has enough to even pick up the army from Tyraxor. Anyway, alright. Same routine. I lose some wolf raiders here and there, but at the end of the day, uh, six. Yeah, at the end of the day, it has to be done. Has to be done. <sighs> All right, I'll I'll mass slow this one. I don't relish the idea of losing units for this fight, to be honest, and I see myself losing quite a few if I don't cast it. Uh, in this case, draw the retaliation, because that will allow me to get a nice swing off without having to worry about the retal killing more of those guys than I would want them to. There you go. Uh, yeah, they can't even... Even if they get morale, it won't help them. Get to swing. There you go. These guys can probably soak up a hit. Yep, there we go. I'll take the shot. And these guys can finish them off. There you go. Not bad. And then finally, these guys, or sorry, Sora can just hold on to this for the time being. And just chill. And uh, overall, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, gems. Yeah, 
That's looking pretty good. Okay, so this guy's basically dead. Uh, eh, I can retreat just for the lulls, I suppose, or surrender, I, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much. And yeah, I do lose Jabarkus here, but that's really no big deal. Oh, he's freeing up a path for me. Not bad, not bad. Okay. He's being generous. There's... Cool. 1-800-GOLD. Alright. Uh, in this town, I go Town Hall. Uh, this town's already fully decked out here. I'm gonna go Castle on this town. So I can get my actual reinforcements. This is very tempting to try and capitalize on, I'm telling you guys. It would be pretty fun. I mean, normally I would, but I want to... Uh, simulate the situation where you don't usually get a second town that's like, uh, you know, a stronghold town, you know, that's convenient, <laughs> to say the least. Also just realized this Mystic Orb of Mana is doing me quite a bit of good, too. Anyway, uh, where can I go now? If I take the, uh, the road, and I hit that, this portal, run all the way up, well, if it's closer to just go in from Messane. After this, I don't know where to push Tyraxor to, though. Yeah, I don't know where to bring Tyraxor to. There's, like, a box guarded by Dread Knights all the way down here. That sounds like it could be a lot of fun. It'd be 20k XP. I also wanted to push some of the AI with this army. Get into, like, a proper battle. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I, I want to push that fight. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to chase right after him, and I'm just going to see how much damage my, my guys can do here. Alrighty. Here you go, Tyraxor. Again, I'm telling you guys, I do wish uh, I had... I don't have a marketplace in this town, do I? Yeah, I could use an artifact merchant, just so I could get, like, a, a weapon like an artifact that will boost attack skill. That would be really nice, I would say. What is this? Lots of mighty Gorgons? Do I feel like fighting that right now? For a Crest of Valor? Probably not worth it, to be honest. I'm really only taking that fight for XP, if I do, because I already have leadership. Um, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, right. I remember now. There you go. Send this hero out on a nice little expedition over here. I need this guy to start being the advance force. And in the meantime, I'll wait right here. Now, I would normally transfer my Thunderbirds directly over to the other hero, but I'm close enough to Damacon that I think that this would actually be uh, a bad idea. Because that would put my hero in in a very bad position, in the sense that, yeah, like, I can't, I can't actually fight that, um, if I don't have my army. Well, actually, no, that's, that's a bit of a lie. Because I could take off the orcs, and then I'd have wolf raiders and thunderbirds, which is perfectly fine, too. It's just that I'd lose all my orcs if I do that, uh, if he attacks. So let's not do that. I could surrender, right? I have tactics. I could surrender. And I could lure him forward closer to this side. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Ah, oh, mass slow. Yeah, okay. I'm doing it. There you go. Boom. I get uh, even more movement for next turn. Uh, where are we at now? So, we got... So, if he does decide to attack, then I'm right here to do my thing. Oh, and he is out, it looks like. Alright, well, his loss. It's my turn to do some damage here. Upgrade these guys, upgrade these guys, and 
that, I think, seems like a pretty fair purchase. Okay. Um, let's get everybody over here to Kragak. All aboard the hero train. Na 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 na. Hero train. All right. So let's get Sora over here. Long chain going on here. And then finally, I send Tyraxor. Or I bring Tyraxor. Everything. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. Uh, you gotta go long, kind of like this. Air. It's pretty pretty legit. I also just realized that I'm short on ice bolt here, so let's uh, just do that quickly. Alright, awesome. Okay, so where are we at now? Oh yeah, Tarek's kind of blocking the road. So let's send Tarek to... Oh, right. Let me also leave the rest of the orcs on Tarax or two, as it should be. Uh, I don't have much gold available uh, because I just bought out everything. Maybe here's what I'm going to do. Actually, this is a nice poor man's town portal spot, but then again, there's a couple other poor man's town portal spots. I should be okay. Okay, so this this one's been cleaned out. Uh, I was thinking that... Oh, come on. Ah, I'm hoping for gold. It's definitely the one I need. Yeah, okay. Well, there's nothing here. Uh, what I was thinking is that maybe time to go double marketplace and convert the wait a second what am I doing I actually need, a, I need triple marketplace here and then of course I already have the fourth one in the other town but or in the uh, town that I captured earlier but anyway here I need this it was a very expensive purchase but uh, I kind of need to send cult outward to go and explore everything for me Alright, what is this? Oh, there you go. There's his main army. Uh, at least I, I'm going to go on a limb and assume that's his main army. I'm uh, making some good progress on this map. If this were like a normal, just a normal game of Heroes 3, yeah, this would actually be way ahead of schedule for, well, the situation. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think, yeah, it's time. It's, uh, Damacon, it's time, dude. Alright, let's do it. He's got no spell points, um, no attack skill apparently, whereas I have all the attack skill. And let me make sure that I'm not within full damage range. Of, uh, yeah, I don't want to make that mistake twice. Uh, oh, he's split into half half. All right, very interesting. Very interesting arrangement indeed. One, two, three. Uh, Tyraxor. Oh, you know what? Maybe you can actually even push these guys forward. I think this is a pretty reasonable uh, arrangement. Now, here's the thing. I will lose some units on this fight, I'm pretty sure, because he has ranged units up the wazoo, so, of course, losing a unit or two here and there is kind of to be expected. But, I'll do what I can. Okay. Uh, five, ten. Alright. Uh, but I think they're going to focus down my hobs, so I should be okay. I just mass stone skin it. Yeah, these guys are scary, I realize. These guys are actually pretty scary. I want these guys to move first. Uh, then, before the minnows get to move, I'll mass slow. I think that's the play here. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Now, I can mass slow. I can isolate this stack. Draw the retaliation, but I avoided that luck. Probably they access to rally flag or something, I would imagine. Uh, I got a nice clean shot with these with these orcs right here. They're targeting the wolf and I'm glad I slowed, or else that could have been a problem. Um, yeah, they're actually focusing down the wolf raiders. That's a bit of a surprise. I thought they'd go hobs, but I guess they really don't care much for the hobs. How many did wolf raiders did I lose here? Seven? Darn. That is rather unfortunate. But this also gives me a chance to test my metal. Uh, I was very curious to see how much damage I could do. Um, now that I have a 14 attack skill, expert offense, and 60 wolf raider. <laughs> okay, yep. 339 both hits. Uh, these guys are kind of a problem, but I wanted to do 
deal with these ones first. And... Yeah, I don't even know what to say here. Uh... Just trying to think how this is going to work here. They have a chance for morale, so I'm really gambling on this one, but... Uh, swing them. Swing them. Uh, move speed two. Yeah, okay. And then bring these guys over here. And I don't even really know if... Uh, need to like... I just can't even kill one. It's these guys I'm most worried about. Actually, no, these guys are going to try to take out my wolf raiders. Eh, why not? Yeah. Of course you would. Enemy has fled? Okay. That's sort of to be expected at this point. Alright, I took out, or I effectively crippled purple on this fight. Uh, Throng of Lights, that would have been one of the most easy Dragonfly Hives I think I would have ever had to fight. Kind of a shame I haven't found any other weapon, I mean, items that boost attack skill or... Um, or uh, Libraries of Enlightenment. Those would be pretty good right about now, I have to admit. But that's okay. That is okay. Speaking of which, do I have View Earth? Nope, I got View Air, though. Okay, well, that's useful. Ooh, I can go this way and get some attack skill. I always like growing the attack skill, you know? Attack skill is... Attack skill is nice. Just allows you to hit super hard. Check this out. Let's see what's in this area. Oh, there's blue. Man, oh man. Blue is in for... Why are there... So there's actually a number of dungeon players. I just finished dealing with uh, purple just now. I think this path also takes me to... Um, I don't know who this is. This is uh, pink. Man, this is uh, <laughs> one of those games where... I think if I had even an extra week on top of the usual... Um, I could probably deal with, like, most of these AI, now that I really look at this map. Mm. And if I actually, you know, use, like, all of these reinforcements right here, that would also uh, allow me to just win it straight up, but... Uh, Alright, well... Oh yeah, right, Cult has to go and do me a favor here. Now here's green. Man, this is... Yeah, they're everywhere in this area. I'm going to head down here first, see what I can do. Might be a mistake, because, again, purple's weak, but... I want to see what I can do here. I'm pretty good, I think. Vial of Lifeblood. That also help quite a bit, wouldn't it? I don't have wisdom on this guy, do I? Yeah, that's a shame. Because it's about time that I start actually learning some proper spells, but... Or or even... You know what? I made a mistake earlier. I should have gone Mage level 1 into Magic University at some point, and then should have just taught my Tyraxor air, and then tried to make a perfect Tyraxor. That would have been pretty fun, but... Uh, I guess also that takes time. Anyway. Where are we at now? Where are we at? Yeah, I don't really have any reason to move these other heroes. They're all part of this silly little chain right here. And let me just double check this quickly. Yeah, I could probably deliver to Craghack, even all the way up here. And gem these other heroes all just hovering around. Maybe I'll send gem down southeast. I think that's the play here. Gotta Send these heroes out to explore. And, okay, well, I think I've explored just a little too far. But, whatever. Um, and, at this point, it would be nice to, like, split my army. And send, like, a sub-army to deal with purple. But, I don't have a sub-army that can handle its own here. Unfortunately, if I had wibs, then maybe. 
But no, this is not gonna, not gonna happen. Yeah, this hero is basically the. Okay, yeah, you can have this hero. I don't like Gem. She dead. Wow, that purple can move super far. Is that his, is that his main? Do I have a Queenstreams? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think that looks like a main army to me. I think that's probably this week's reinforcements. It's just that he was never really able to uh, reinforce his or reinforce his army properly, and it looks like he's got peasants for some reason. Also, uh, I don't know which of these stacks he's gonna fire at, so might as well roll with it. Interesting. Okay. Okay, they're going for Hobbs, all right. Uh, pff, I'll even, like, yeah, I'll aim these guys first. Like, what am I doing? Why, don't I, why didn't I just split into, like, one, st like, four stacks of Thunderbird? Oh, no, I mean, I wanted to protect my rocks. That actually makes sense, but still, like, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I, I played this all wrong, but uh, whatever. Alright, let's see what we cast. Lightning Bolt? Okay, I should not have given them a turn then. Uh, I wasn't sure if these guys would do enough damage over the wall, but it's 14 attack skill versus 0 defense. And, uh, and yeah, these are peasants, so should have just thrown the magic arrow at the uh, one stack. And then I should have just let it be. Oh well, whatever. Hindsight is twenty twenty. That is what they say. Battle Scholar Academy. Honestly, above everything else right now, what I need is Artifact Merchants. Necklace of Swiftness. Yo, that's great. I mean, I would have ideally preferred to get like a, you know, plus attack artifact, but this will also do. You can also pick up this while I'm at it. Yep, pick up that, and let's also take a moment to just... Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, get that. Good. And my guys are even faster. Gotta go fast. And let's take this off for a second. And I actually don't have haste, it looks like. So, let's uh, be mindful of that. Oh, there's Cult. And there's Shiva. Shiva could actually be useful with her scouting. So let's actually bring her out instead. Uh, okay. Where did he go? Okay, no, I'm looking at the wrong player. Ooh, head southeast. I'm so confused. Yeah, he looped around southeast. I gotta deal with that guy. Um, okay, this is to prevent stragglers from coming in. Uh, but I d really don't want to keep Tyraxor here, to, to be completely honest. Uh, Luna, Cult. Let's get Luna. Uh, yeah, definitely this would be a better defender, I guess. But then again, I need that hero. I need this hero to scout. That's what she's going to go and do. Ah, there you go. There is Jagar. And is Blue out of towns? Yeah, Blue's actually out of towns, so if I position myself, like, right here, he has to fight, right? And that way I don't lose out on movement. Ugh, oh, looks ugly to have this one random goblin lying around, so I'm going to dismiss uh, good old Gary the goblin. Uh, all right. So, yeah, Jagar again, might be forced to push, but I'm just gonna make things a little bit easier for me, or for myself here. And I'm actually not quite gonna be able to reach, I don't think. What I could actually do, though, uh, big brain play right here, maybe. I don't actually know if this is big brain or not. Um, here we go, Let's let's do this. I don't really think I'm going to be needing these gems anyway. Whatever. Uh, it's no big deal. Alright. 
I'm going to get one more hero out, uh, Cult. And I'm actually going to pick up these Orcs. And for this upcoming fight, I'm not going to use Orcs. Assuming that there will be a fight anyway, but... Anyway, I'm not going to use Orcs because... Uh, if I bring the Orcs, then my Tyraxor won't be able to reach this town. Ne Wait, what? Well, okay, I mean, I guess his base movement is 2300 right now, so, yeah, I will definitely be able to reach the Lost Hold if I just, yeah, take off the Orcs. That's basically the plan, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move Sorg back temporarily, wait to be able to hold this town with somebody a bit more reliable, and I actually just realized that there's a treasure chest there, so I actually didn't need to spend all that, those resources, but whatever, no big. And, yeah, let's just hit this. Probably just end my turn on the sanctuary. I think that'll do the trick. Yeah, this hero's pretty dead. Um, okay, uh, I'm not complaining about that. But uh, sure. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, no, the AI is just everywhere. They are everywhere. I don't know how else to put it. Um, and then there's also this path, too. I don't know how far down I'd have to go in order to take on whoever the fortress AI is. Green, I think. That's probably Green's zone. Kind of a shame. I just don't have enough movement points to catch up to all of them. And I don't have access to Boots of Speed either, so... This is rather unfortunate. But, having said that... I really can't reach. Wow. Um, Alright, well I guess it doesn't matter too much because... He didn't try to take the town, so... Should be okay, but still. Alright, oh, whatever. I mean, all that prep for for nothing, basically. Uh, let's get this hero to start exploring uh, that direction. And it looks like we're actually coming to, towards the end of month one, so... Hmm. What to do from here? It's actually very tempting to go maybe even another week and see what, what we can accomplish because we've already brought down one of the AI and now it's just really a question of from here uh, hunting down the remaining AI like blue is bleeding out here teal apparently has two towns uh, but I kind of want to at least deal with purple and maybe green before I call it a playthrough and wow he actually can almost reach it's crazy Okay, now he decides to attack me, I guess. I'm just gonna click on that, it's no big deal. Alright, and I believe this hero is... basically going to be going... Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna chill here. So, <clears throat> yeah, this hero is basically gonna be holding the town against Jagar. I'm uh, gonna let the arrow towers do as much damage as they possibly can. And then, of course, oh, yeah, probably get Luna to take this fight, actually. Yeah, yeah there you go. That'd probably be good. Um, maybe make him eat up some spell points. There you go. That's wonderful. That's just what I like to see. Uh, can't quite do enough damage to kill anything, though. Except for maybe some Harpy Hags, because they can actually get them over the, uh, that doesn't even really matter. Alright, that's cool. Uh, so basically, Cult is going to try and troll Blue, assuming that Blue does vacate the town after he captures it, or after he liberates it again, but I'll have to wait and see. I don't know why this guy decided that he wanted to, to stay here and die, but uh, I'd be more than happy to oblige, of course. Okay. And what else can we do here? I don't know. 
Uh, let's just make everything easier. Alright, sure. Ow. Ah, targeting the orcs this fight. I don't know. I, I really don't understand. Like, it's very inconsistent what they choose to try and target here. Uh, I've never really understood. Like, I can usually guess, but... Um, I don't even know if I can get it all the time. He's got speed threes. Boy, oh boy. 185 damage on a lightning bolt? That's pretty good. What a shame I didn't have expert error. I totally could have just one shot at him there. Oh well, because of that, I take another magic arrow to the face. And apparently, that ballista did a lot more damage than I was expecting. I should have sent the wolf raider to go and hit that. The one stack wolf raider. That would have been pretty good. Oh well. Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Town Hall, a little summoning, I don't really need those. What else do I... Oh, yep, knew it. Bam! Air magic! See, didn't even need to get uh, Magic University. Saved myself five grand. Alright, uh, now what? I guess we keep going. Oh, yeah, right, I was looking forward to hitting this. And I'm going to try to push purple over here. Oh, yep, Alamar is so dead. I'm not even going to look at this fight. Alright, uh, ooh, that's very nice. Look at those stats I get. And this hero is chilling, this hero is chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain. Frag hack, we'll go over here, and then. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Let's get this bad boy. To, I don't know, I'll send Thane south, and then I'll send another hero southeast. Uh, doesn't really matter. Sure, basic tactics, why not? Uh, Alright. In fact, I might even be able to do this, just to make things a little bit better. Alright, cool. I'm pretty screwed. I mean, I think this is fairly obvious, but let's see how much damage I can at least try to deal to these guys. Uh, who I want to take out first here? These manticores are pretty scary. What are they targeting, even? Infernal troglodytes? Oh, that's such a joke. Alright, well, in that case, hold the deuces. Wow, this guy actually survived. Oh! He spoke a little too soon. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, I should have even dropped a firewall or something, but... Anyway. Bam! There you go. Oh, perfect. I should at least take out a stack of Harpy Hags. That's pretty good. And the Deuces. And come on, please tell me that he just left it behind. Oh, that is so convenient, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And you know what? Honestly, uh, I feel like this would probably be a better hero for defending the town. And yeah, I probably... But, uh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> okay. Okay, sounds good to me, I I guess. Uh, give me a second here. So, what's, where's Thane headed? Ah, oh, yeah, right. Let's see here. He's deciding to defend his town against... Oh, Purple's basically got him locked here. Okay, well, that's fine. That's understandable. Um... Where are we here? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one to move into town for a second. Well, like I said, this is pretty convenient. Uh, I'm gonna get this hero back. And... I'm not even be able to just 
hijack this uh, ore pit. There you go. That's good. Uh, Alright, so Oris. Oris, Oris, Oris. Right. Oris will transfer these orcs back. Uh, which, uh, one stacks. Actually, what am I doing? I could even go like this, can't I? There you go. Now, the goblin looks ugly, but you know what? Maybe I'll give him a chance just to, you know, be on guard duty for these 37 orcs. Okay, yeah. And Maslow. Oh, yeah. Love it when Pegasi boosts the amount of spell points I need by, like, a little bit. Wow. Wonderful. Let's see how much damage I can do. I think that's enough to basically one-shot them. Yeah, one of them's still alive. Bam! Uh, what else can I do here? Bam! Bam! Wait, wait, wait. And honestly, life a little bit easier here. Alright, good. Didn't even lose any wolf raiders. I didn't even have to use the one stacks. Uh, Alright, perfect. Garden of Revelation. I could hit that if I wanted more knowledge. I don't care much for it. I just want to boost my attack skill to epic proportions. And this Tyraxor is, is pretty sick. Like, let me tell you. I don't even have the like a helmet or anything like that, or or anything that boosts uh, spell power, and he's already been freaking killing it. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Ooh, that is what I am looking for here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure in this case they will focus fire. My works, pretty sure. And just to be on the safe side, I'll split the Wolf Raiders, and otherwise the Thunderbirds will only need to... Well, they only need the Stone Guards, and it's, the fight's basically over, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Magic Arrow. <sighs> I should have used haste. <laughs> Great. Now I just take a magic arrow to the face. Alright, well, lost units for no reason. Um, yep. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Supposed to use haste because, yeah, the dude that has the Beholder uh, specialty also coincidentally happens to also start off with resistance. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right, but, you know, less, lesson well learned. Uh, Battle Scholar Academy. Oh, armor! Uh, I would love to take that, except it boosts the uh, damage that arrow towers do to my units. I can't have that, now can I? I also want expert air, of course. And expert leadership would also be pretty good, but anyway. Again, this Dragonfly Hive would be great if I had two armies off of the other Dragonfly Hives that I, was, that I have in my zone, then I could have totally gone and grabbed that. Um, pushed it and then just had two armies pushing the map. And I could probably have even taken out two or three AI by now, but then again, also, I'm giving Blue a pretty hard time here. Okay. He's earthquaking. All right. Well, then. Fortunately, I don't have quite as much to respond in kind with. All I got is this. Aha. Take that, game. Okay, well... Oh, yep, thing's definitely dead. Cult and Caitlyn. Yeah, I was gonna say that I'm lucky that uh, I have Caitlyn and Cult just looming around, but I realize it doesn't matter because... Uh, it doesn't matter since I can still reach it with Cult. It looks like I'm not actually being cut off, despite what it looks like. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm hoping that he vacates this town at the end of this turn so that I can do the same thing except actually get reinforcements. If, if I do that, then it's over. Which, by the way, normally I end on 2-1-1 uh, for these Christmas playthroughs, but I will make an exception this just this time because I do actually want to 
take out the AI. I feel like that would be a... Yeah, I just feel like... Um... It just feels like something that needs to be done. You guys know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I feel anyway. Uh, Alright, so here's what's going to go down. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to get attack skill. Really trying to get that... Uh, 20 attack skill would be great. That would be ideal, but... I mean, I could hit 20 attack skill. All I need to do is poor man's my, my guy, and then... You know, holla ball holla, and then, you know, that's... That's basically it, but... Alas... I'm not quite there. Uh, because I have other things I need to do, like... Pushing purple and pink. Alright. That's what I'm gonna do. If these, uh, 15... Thunderbirds have been doing some work though, let me tell you. And I just realized that there's Boots of Speed down here. Boots of Speedo. Yeah, wouldn't that have been nice? I don't know, man. I'm telling you guys, like... Yeah, like... I was playing this as like a month one only playthrough, but... I don't know. One of the reasons I just love playing Stronghold, uh, whether it be in SOD or Hoda, is just that they have just such a amazing skill tree a lot of the time, right? Like, Offense, Tactics, Logi, Earth. Uh, they have a higher chance to get Air than Earth compared to, uh, compared to, like, Overlords, but the fact that, you know, these three skills and then Armor, um, and then they can get, like, really high attack skill and defense skill to a lesser degree, I don't know, Barbarians are just so fun to, uh, to play. Like, they, they go around just crushing everything with their sheer might. And that for me is just... Just freaking amazing. I don't know I don't know what else to say about than that. Uh, okay, the Amicon's just chilling right over there. Okay, so... At this point... I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play out my next couple turns. Uh, I'm not going to give a hard limit. I'm thinking probably the end of uh, week two. Just to see how many of the AI can kill by that point. But, well, yeah, until then, I'm just going to do my thing, set up my chain, and yeah, we'll just see how far we get. So, here we go. Monolith two-way. Uh, that should take me. All the way over to Crag Hack. And then Crag Hack. We'll head over this way to Sorug. Just eyeballing this. I should have plenty of movement once I reach Sorug. How far can I even move with Sorug? Oh boy, I can actually go so far. Uh, okay, well, this is perfect then. This is everything that I need to do for next turn. Then, I think, oh, yep, my favorite part of the turn, yep, yep, dead, and he vacated it, alright, very nice, perfect, and purple just went and met his end, I don't know why purple is deciding to just buzz off here, uh, okay, great, and now it's over for blue, for sure, because now, all I'm going to do is, uh, hold this town with a bunch of harpy hags, and I don't know why it's not letting me buy them. Uh, harpy hags and beholders. Boom. Done. Now now that town's basically hooped. Uh, buy out everything on this town. Yeah, you've got to be kidding me. Um, okay, fine. I lose some units here, I imagine, but... I gotta do what I gotta do, I suppose. As dumb as that is. Oh, can I just quick combat this? Oh, no, I can't. Probably because the AI just tries to attack with everything. Okay, well, I understand how it is. Uh, put these guys here. Put these guys here. Put these guys here. Probably even hasted them, but whatever. There you go. Come on. What? Why are you targeting the? Okay, sure. Whatever. Uh, I'm like, 
Well, I guess probably it's because they're not even in reach of the hobgoblins. I just realized I'm like, why are they targeting the hobgoblins? Hobgoblins are weak. But yeah, that explains it all. Okay, so position like right here. Actually a lot better than I expected. Alright, freed up the path, there you go. Uh, we get Vey now to go and do her thing. This is... Uh, okay. okay, fine. Okay. Can I at least... Yeah, alright, I'll just deliver over to Kragag like this. I think I should still be able to reach. There you go, okay, I still can reach. Good, That's, that was indeed correct. Didn't want to have to take the fight, like the next fight. Uh, I just... Yeah, like, I could do it, and I can lose, like, a few hobgoblins, like, okay, great, but I'm just lazy. Uh, I just want to get to, like, the good part, you know? Oh, yeah, right, I remember now, that's why. Um, right, 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 right. Let's bring this guy back here, and... What the? Okay, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. There we go. 7-Eleven on the Knolls. And the Lizardmen. Uh, yes, this maybe will entice Damacon to attack the town. That's what I'm hoping for here. Uh, in the meantime, passing over all of these orcs. That's originally why I needed another hero out here. And Sorg can now deliver everything to Oris. Aura steps down here, and we have a Red Rush in the works. Very nice. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, Tyraxor, what do you got now? Oh, yeah, right. Alright, well, these arrow towers are going to hurt, that's for sure. But... We will do what we can. Yeah, honestly, these guys are going to tickle, because I have uh, 14 defense skills, so I can't imagine this being, like, a hard fight for me. Or rather, uh, my hobgoblin should be able to tank everything, like, if it gets thrown at him. He should be okay. Yep, there you go. Now, what has... To, well... Basically, what do I want to cast? I don't even know. I honestly have no clue what to cast right now. I'll just wait it. Slow? Okay. There you go. Figured that they might uh, do this. Ow. Ow. Okay. Can I just one-shot these guys? Yes, I can. And... Of course, these uh, Nagas just feel the need to block off everything. Oh, yeah, right. Um... Haste. Uh, swing. Oh, cool. Even better. Uh, at this point, I think it's over, yeah. It's just a question of how many units, uh, or which units these arrow towers shoot at. But that answers that question. And, honestly, let's not make the same mistake twice. Like, I, I know that this is a wizard, so it's very, very, very unlikely that it's going to have like resistance. Like, the only way is if the AI decided to hit a witch hut with the Odorous, but or, or a scholar, but like yeah, let's let's make it a habit not to try and magic arrow into uh, resistance anymore. Defend, and I'm going to fire in a second, but uh, what was I going to look for quickly? I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, right. I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate the uh, 600 to 700 damage that the, just the uh, 
Thunderbirds I've been getting from my town alone have been able to dish out, you know. Yep, MG4. I still don't have wisdom on this guy for whatever reason. Uh, do I have blind yet? Nope, no blind. All of knowledge. Yeah, why not? Just gonna inflate his stats. Yeah. There you go. Stone golems, perfect. Good defenders. Now... I don't know where... Purple, blue, and pink all have zero towns, right? Pretty sure that should be the case. Well... Oh, can I... Am I able to reach? Oh, no way! Okay. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Okay, pass the turn. There you go. Uh, Alright. I am going to thoroughly enjoy this, and probably I should have had another hero, just as a safety precaution in case I somehow lose this, but... Uh, yep, I'm all in on this fight. Earthquake. Okay, I don't know why I'm defending this, but... Or, like, why I chose to defend rather than actually attack something. Okay, cool. Uh, what am I doing? I can actually just keep hitting, using hit and run. Okay, yeah, great. Okay, get a nice little beam here. Those arrow towers doing their thing. Uh, can these guys reach? Well, if I put place them here, it's okay. Okay, hit again. Didn't quite managed to kill one, but definitely don't tickle. There you go, now it's over. Uh, there you go, as long as I make sure I keep these gates sealed nice and nice and shut. I just realized the earthquake hit the bottom arrow tower. I'm glad it didn't hit the uh, main building, because if it hit the main building, well, that obviously would have been a pretty big problem. Alright, there you go. Thankfully, these guys aren't getting morale either, because that also would be a problem. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, doesn't really matter, does it? Pew! Alright. Done! Centaur's Axe! Finally! Like, uh... Like, uh, an artifact that actually boosts attack skill. You know, the thing I was looking for since... Oh! What is that? What is Purple doing? Man, crazy stuff. Okay. Great. Uh... Time to collect my army from Oris. Then... We shall move. Boots of Speed. Okay, so I see the Boots of Speed over there. I'm, I'm really tempted to take it. Like, if this were a normal match of Heroes 3, I would just grab it. Straight up. But... Considering I'm only playing for one more week, I just, I'm just trying to evaluate whether or not it actually helps me out here for this extra week that I'm playing. Good ol' Overtime. Speaking of overtime, so purple, blue, pink, orange, green, and teal. Huh. This is so weird. I feel like I've, you know, I've taken out almost half the AI, but I haven't even farmed half the map. I haven't even looked at uh, over half the map, so. Hmm. It's just the way the map got uh, generated. Very curious. At the end of this game, I'll take a look, but... Uh... Yeah, I think it'd help me in the long run, to be honest, to actually... Just, uh, have somebody go and push those stone golems. Get me what I'm looking for here. Those boots of Speedo. Let's get the Thunderbirds. 
Yeah, let's get the Thunderbirds for it. Uh, yeah. Just gonna do it. Might as well. Okay, come on now. Uh, yeah, alright. Basic air, and then I hit boots of speed. I need to actually set up a chain properly to deal with all this. Okay, so this is where Marist will be, and then here's what Tyraxor. So, again, I don't have a place to poor man's really. I should have actually poor man's this hero, in fact, and then I could have actually saved myself a bit of time. But now, instead, I have to just run it all the way around the, this area. Which is dumb, but, I mean, that is how these things work, I guess, from time to time. Anyway, whatever. Uh... Yeah, what's also kind of scary is that Rosic is here, but you know what? It shouldn't matter. Straight up shouldn't even matter because uh, I could probably just surrender in worst case scenario if he does decide to attack me with, with all I've got of wolf raiders. It should be pretty cheap, but um, yeah, let's we'll see what happens here. Speaking of which, there we go. Just in case he attacks me. I got a nice little surprise plan for him. I don't have spells, but I have something even better. It's called Tactics. You guys are going to see it in action in a couple moments. If he does attack me, which I do think there's a pretty good chance that he will. Okay, lost hold. Honestly, this is the last. These are some of the last turns, so I don't really need to maintain my chain anymore for reinforcements from my town. Uh, here's Vey. I wonder if this is the path that takes me to Teal. Anyway, either way, I think it's uh, pretty much it. So, I'm going to end my turn here. Ah, yes, Damacon. Now, I want Damacon to come with that army. Uh, if I reinforce everything, then he's probably just going to flee. And I don't want that. Orange. That is than I bargained for. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's almost out of spell points. It's almost over. Oh, perfect. Now they can actually target something a bit more valuable, like Boulder Spurring. Just what I was looking for. Oh, I uh, managed to kill one of the uh, Serpent Flies. Didn't I deal with Demacon earlier? Well, it doesn't really matter anymore. That is satisfying to see. Purple has been vanquished, that thorn in my side. Alright, and then for some reason. Oh, well. Apparently, uh, Orange is on his way to meet his maker. So, wait. That's a completely different hero. I, Yeah, this is. This was originally Blues Town. I don't know where Orange came out of. But, uh, yeah, that's one of those straggler heroes. I almost got your baited and just straight up uh, trying to go and kill him, but. Orange is still very much in the running. Speaking of which, where is this Tarek? I'm going to bring this guy back into town for a second so I can free up a hero space or hero slot and determine this artifact merchant. Oh, wow. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, I'll do it. Skull helmet. Black Shadow of the Dead Knight. I don't have the shield, though, do I? Let's take a look. Do I have the shield? Nope, I got Bulk of the Null King. That would have been so good. Anyway, whatever. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. Black Shadow of the Dead Knight. Uh... I mean... It doesn't really matter. just want my uh, hero to look a little bit nicer here. Alrighty. Flees from battle. Okay. Come 
on that? Nope. Uh, I guess not. Alright, gotta do it the old fashioned way. Just... Oh wow. I actually survived that hit. Okay, well then, if that's the case, this might be a bit more of a problem than I expected. Then again, maybe not. Uh, swing. Yeah, no, it's over. Okay, it's done. Logistics, okay, not bad. Um, I could go with Blasher of the Dead Knight, but I already bought one, so. Uh, Alright, and then this hero can transfer over to Maris. And Maris can go over here, to be honest. There you go, there's Cult. Oh yeah, very nice. Transfer this over to Crag Hack. And Crag Hack can deliver everything. Oh no, yeah, Tyraxor was supposed to get attacked, or at least I was under the impression he might get attacked, but he didn't. Like they were too scared of him, and there you go. Ah, oh, finally, Tyraxor actually has the stats that he rightfully deserves. Now, I haven't managed to do any Dragon Topias yet. So no crazy uh, stats from that, but I would say that this is a uh, pretty reasonable. Well, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't really know what more to say than that. Okay, so Tyraxor. Oh yeah, best part of the turn. Uh, let's see who's left even. Blue and pink should starve eventually. Also, Kingdom Army Strength, it says the game's line, apparently Teal and Orange are doing better than I am. Well, they better have some pretty darn good armies. Whatever the case, I think I have already gone through the trouble of deal... well, Green got crippled, if I recall correctly, or maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Just... Uh... Green just doesn't have like a super strong army. Okay, so yeah, these guys hit like 700 damage a hit, and that's without the uh, double strike. Or that's before double strike, so. Yep, this guy's doing, doing me a solid here. Uh. Eh, sure, why not? It's like literally on the road. And I'm just one step short. Okay, well, that's great. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna stand right here so that no heroes can get in or out. Kind of a shame that I couldn't quite reach his town this turn. That's why I really needed those boots of speed, I guess. But better late than never. Okay, great. Oh, come on. Alright, well... Yeah, let's see. Hmm. There's probably no hero in there. Yeah, if this were a real game, I still would have attacked. It wouldn't have made a difference to me. Uh, because there's probably no hero in there, as I, I mean, I would have guessed that there was no hero in there. <coughs> correctly. And then, of course, uh, my orcs are probably going to get shot at before my wolf figures get shot at. So, I think all my bases are pretty covered here. There you go. Literally left uh, the hobs within range so that these guys come out. Actually, want these units to all uh, push forward if possible. Um, now, who's the Thunderbird there? That was a bit careless, but. Come on now. I like to see. And yep, there we go. They're targeting the wolf raiders? What? Why? Why not target the orcs? I'm so confused. I mean, okay, I I guess. <laughs> uh pff. 
like what? <laughs> uh, whatever, man. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna. Uh, 19 by 15. That's 190. Whatever. Not too lazy to do the calculation. Oh wow, three of them survive. All right. Uh, maybe they'll come forward at least. Okay, good. Perfect. Swing. Finish. Uh, well, we'll take them out. All right. Lost a bunch of units. No biggie. Basic wisdom. Finally. And then I just basically squat here for the rest of the game. And I think that's basically all I have time for uh, for this playthrough. But, but yeah, I think that pretty much settles it. Um, don't really know if there's anything else I can do at this point. I would basically just wait for blue, green, and pink to starve out. And then I think the next place I would go, uh, the next path that I have, well, I would go to that wasn't yet cleared would be this path right here. Uh, maybe I might even be able to send this here to go and deal with it, just for fun. Oh, maybe not actually, but we'll see. Lord of Wolf Raiders. Ah, good enough. Take a look at what's on the other side. Oh shoot, it looks like, uh, yeah, this is where I would have met the other... Yeah. Um, this is where I would have actually run into Jedi and other... Uh, or Orange and the rest of the AIs. Well, not the rest of the AI, it's just Orange and Teal, so... That's pretty good. Do I have any other heroes that I could purchase, that I could send out? I don't think so. Iona? Yeah, Iona might not actually be a bad candidate here. You know, I'm going to do that. Didn't need to auto-combat that. I didn't realize that they'd be so close. Yeah, let's go. Or, this guy's not doing anything. Um, <clears throat> Flux down, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. I actually don't just realize... This hero doesn't have uh, as much movement as Octavia because she didn't have like. I need to find a hero with like max movement that's not. Uh, how should I say this? Yeah, basically, I need somebody who has like a way to cast magic arrow. I actually, come to think of it, can, can this girl cast magic arrow? She can. Would I be able to drop Jedi? With the arrow tower, probably n well. While there's like an arrow tower and everything, probably not. That's the biggest problem. I don't think there's a way. Like if it were Tyraxor, definitely I could do it. But obviously I can't here. 1868. Yep. I'm actually just a little short on movement too. That's so funny. I'm I'm short on being able to reach, which is rather unfortunate. Otherwise I could have just hijacked Orange's town, and then I could have actually in the in these two months of gameplay. I would already be done handling orange, blue, green, pink, basically. That would have been that would have been too funny. But uh unfortunately that's not quite the case here. Oh well. Wait, what? Uh can you really kill me here? Like Octavia? Yep, okay, you definitely can't kill Octavia. <laughs> That'll do it. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't really know. Oh, you know what? I know what to do from here. Uh, there you go. Yeah, maybe not, actually. I'm going to... Just realize I don't have any reinforcements in this town. Mm. It would have been good to have actually have a hero chain for that, wouldn't it? Uh, it probably would have been really good. Oh well. Treat. Raxor flees from battle. So, <clears throat> I do need to see if I can get... Oh, you know what? I've got it. I've got it. I know where I can get reinforcements. This town. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Yep. Let's go. Oh, have I... Did I never transfer the boots of speed? I'm so... <laughs> Somebody was shouting it. Wait. 
Okay, so is it's on cult? Is that right? Yeah, somebody must have been shouting at this entire time at the uh, computer screen. Me, Cack! You forgot the boat's a spade! That, and that's probably why I haven't been able to move as far as I wanted to with Tyrax. But I guess, again, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it would have made much of a difference. Um, no, that's a lie. It would have. It actually would have, because then I wouldn't have lost so many wolf raiders on the fortress town. But you know what? You know what, guys? I was just testing you, okay? I was just testing to make sure that you guys are paying attention. I don't, I don't know why y'all gotta give me such a hard time, even though I totally can't hear you at the time of this recording, but... Alright, let's go. Ow. Lightning bolt! Uh, defend, 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 defend. And swing. Oh, okay. Alright. Go, Tyrex, or go! And he can't uh, resist that, I think, either, so even better. Hmm. Ah, well. Here's where things get even more interesting, because I actually don't know what this... Ooh. Yeah, so if I try to fight that, I think I basically lose, uh, or I lose Tyraxor. Whether or not I lose the game is a different story, but oh wow, what is this? That's convenient. I'll uh, take all that, why not? Okay, I'm just gonna hang out here with Craghack. Maybe have a nice little... Stack of units here. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Well. Um. Yeah, no, this is actually probably one of the fastest heroes games I've had. Like, I totally, like, if I could surrender my army and then bring it over here somehow, I could totally have just pushed northeast onto Vokail, and then probably probably just uh, won the game like that. Uh, apparently Teal and Orange still have towns, though, so yeah. This playthrough probably... How long has this even gone for? Two and a half hours? Hmm. Wow, that's even a lot... That's already a lot longer than I was expecting this game to go on for, actually, now that I, now that I really think about it, but... Well, I'd be like that. I'm not complaining. I've been having fun with this playthrough, but still, I didn't expect it to be quite like this, I suppose. Um, yeah. There you go. I can retreat out with uh, Tyraxor. And I still don't know where Orange got another town from. Maybe here, actually. Could have been this area. If stolen one of Teal's. Yep, there's Green. Just waiting for him to starve out this point. Okay. There you go. There's his main. I could definitely kill that. Uh, can I insta-kill that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Are you serious? Alright. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, because I magic arrowed the walking dead in the first round, so he didn't actually get a turn on that. Okay, I was like, why don't you just open up with that? Okay, there we go, that makes sense. And surrender. And if he's got shackles, then... Okay, no, I'm good. Uh... Yep. One, two, three. And then just quick combat this. Yeah, quick combat this. See? Told you guys. Alright, what's this? Oh. Alright. Uh. Oh. Oh, Garg Specialist, no wonder. I'm like, why can't you move so far? Crazy, crazy, man. Okay. Sure. Okay. That's fine. What? 
Okay. Alright, finally. Uh, again, the Nagas would head up to try and deal with this stone garg, so that's... Of course you would. not have any spells either. Okay, yeah, one, two, three. Alright, that's pretty legit. Uh, I might actually be able to win this siege, can't I? Oh, I know he's still got Magi. No, no, I can't. I don't think I can anyway. Uh... And the morales are just too good. Man, the AI in this game is just too good, man. <gasps> He's so good! He's actually so good at the game! Okay, okay, no, 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 dude. I need a handicap, okay? I, I, no, 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 no. Listen to me, okay, guys? I need a handicap. Alright, that... Wow, I just... I mean, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say to that sequence of events that just transpired like a couple seconds ago uh okay so yeah i'm just gonna wait for a second i think i can actually win this even with this botched army yeah i just need a bit to um work this out here Alrighty, well, I don't know if I have a way to, like, <laughs> whatever. Wow, I really hate those guards. Wow, I'm actually doing even worse than last time. Uh, you know what, you guys? I'm pro, okay? <laughs> Done. I, I, I see Pink. Pink's not even vanquished, but but we'll pretend we'll pretend like Pink was vanquished. All right? Because at this point, I'm just rushing it. Normally, normally. Where did she? Where did Pink even come from there? I'm actually curious. I wasn't paying attention. I just want to see Pink has been vanquished, and the other people who are down to zero towns, I want to see them vanquished too. Now, here's the thing. With this town, I could have totally just reinforced it. I have the money for it. And, honestly, I played that final battle really badly, and I don't really want to try and... Like, this is supposed to be a short playthrough anyway. Like, this is getting ridiculous. This is definitely a lot longer than I was expecting this to go on for. Uh, having said that... Let me get this guy out of my out of my sight. Let's just get this out of here. Yeah, glorious victory. Okay, great. That's that's awesome. Okay, so who's left? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Who is even left? Okay, blue, green, and pink are all supposed to be down in no towns. So that leads leads us with Tyrax. So we're gonna view air this quickly. Yeah, this town is now owned by Teal. There's nothing I can do about that. And I'm basically just going to probably end my turns here until these guys just run out of, like, they get, um, they're banished from the land because they don't have enough food or whatever. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Where is it? This town? Alright, good enough. Sounds good to me. All right, D diplomacy. Oh, fantastic! All right, yeah. Blue's heroes of venom. He's banished from this land. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I'm just curious. Like this game would have been the fastest game. I think I would have won. Like I, I'm pretty sure. I, I just want to double check this. Green.
Like, and I'm pretty confident. Like, I say this very confidently, because, again, I'm not even, at this point, I'm just, like, I'm not even, like, buying any reinforcements or actively moving my other heroes in a way that, that makes any sense, really. Like, I could have surrendered, could have, like, brought my entire army in and pushed the other side, but, again, I don't... The, this was even... This was supposed to be, like, me showing you guys kind of how the first month is played out. And I did that, and my stats were, like, already, like, 19, 14, whatever, right? Like, 19, 14, like, 7 and 8 or 9, or I don't remember the exact numbers... With like some Thunderbirds and Wolf Raiders that were hitting for like 300 to 400 damage, which I think is actually overall pretty good. Um, in terms of like compared to uh, compared to like the demon farming, compared to like a portal, well, yeah, uh, demon farming specifically, uh, I wouldn't have had like, like when back when I did the demon farming video, I think like my stack by the end was like 80 demons or 90 demons and I was hitting for like for like over a thousand damage this isn't quite like that I guess at least not on the first hit but this is pretty darn close and this is just from reinforcements okay yes it's I I've been skipping turns mindlessly but I've also come to realize that wait no it's uh, what is the matrix okay yeah there you go probably the reason why green is still alive is because, yes, as I would have guessed, uh, indeed, Green does have another town. Um, yeah, Green at some point managed to get a hold of another town without me realizing it, and that's why I'm having such a hard time trying to trying to skip turns and wait for Green to die. Alright, I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, this is kind of within a, the first month. Apparently, I was actually pretty close to finishing the game, and uh, yeah, I think this is just a good stopping point because it's uh, well, this is well beyond where I was expecting to go in this match, but I was having a lot of fun with it, and normally uh, I would just go uh, with month one only, but yeah, really want to develop Tyraxor, and also develop my army of misfits, I guess. Yeah, that's more or less all I have to say about this. Um... Ah, yes, there is one uh, one last thing, actually. There it is. Alright. WC Nabuch Ad Nazar. I believe that's for unlimited movement. And NWC, there is no spoon. What? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, and a lot of the land didn't really get used. I guess that's just the way this uh, template template gets spawned. Because I'm like, what about this, for example, right? I'm like, you know, I had already dealt with the majority of the AI, and we weren't even halfway finished the game. Or, sorry, I hadn't even explored over half the map, and now I understand why. This looks to me like a treasure zone of sorts. This is a treasure zone of sorts. This is a well, I don't know if this is a treasure zone. This is a side zone of some kind, I guess. But, yeah, and this is... Yeah, this kind of looks like a... Well, not really a treasure zone, but like an... Well, I don't even know. Anyway, point is... It all makes sense to me now. All of the uh, AI were underground. And... Well, except for the few that I'd captured. And then, of course, Teal. And that's basically it. Uh, and then these these zones that I simply didn't explore the other half of the map were a bunch of treasure zones that were that didn't actually belong to any player. Right. So let's uh, finish this up, guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. You know, let's just assume that I would have done something like this. Okay, so what I'm most curious about is how would this army have fared if I had gone up against the Dragon Utopia? The real questions here. Um, yeah. Here we go. Yep, target the Wolf Raiders. Okay, well. Rip. Ripperonis. Uh, okay, well, these guys at least hit pretty hard, so that's good. Damn. Damn. Okay, well. The thi Okay. 
My wolf raiders would probably have all perished here, although I don't know if my orcs... I don't know if I could have actually kept my units alive had I, or my wolf raiders alive, had I actually moved them into different slots. Like, definitely a doable fight, um, but I think it might have been better. Is... Okay, this is not the uh, game I was looking for here. Spoon, and we see what is the matrix, and fly. Why can't I go that route? <sighs> Which admins are? That's why I can't go that that way. I what? Okay, there we go. Don't know why the game's not letting me go all the way over there. Okay, so, yeah, again, this is just for uh, science sake, because actually, even I'm curious about this. Um, what if, instead of putting them in that spot, I went like this, I put them actually sp slot two. Uh, and again, I don't have expert error, I could have just mass hasted, but here we go. There you go. There you go. That's a lot better. Yep. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. Yep. And then if I mass shield, they wouldn't even touch the wolf raiders. Okay, well now they touch the wolf raiders, but yeah, well, it's actually kind of cool to see these uh, outcomes here. What if I? What if I hasted? So, well, I mean, I would have attacked, but wait, 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 hold on. If I... Okay, so, when I shield, that's when these guys don't want to attack at all, but then... Or, the red dragons don't want to attack at all, but... The green dragons are still willing to attack, but if I don't cast shield, then both stacks will attack. Alright, well, that was, uh, fun playing around with these possibilities. Anyway, I, I think I'm good, though. This Christmas special has been a lot longer a Christmas special than I was really expecting it. Uh, to be, like I've been saying the last 20 minutes. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, somehow, this game turned out to be almost shorter than the Only One Hero Challenge that I did uh, a while back. And almost as short as the one dungeon playthrough that never saw the light of day, because I was muted for the entire video. Um, where I think that one only went for three hours. Uh, I think this one I could have actually finished in I don't know. I actually don't know. I think I probably could have finished it in like three and a half to four hours. Nah, I don't think I could have beaten my my record with the uh, dungeon playthrough, which ended in under three hours. And same with the Only One Hero Challenge, where it's a very similar boat. Uh, where, yeah, it was just around three hours. So, again, not trying... Hopefully this video didn't seem too rushed. I do think that this is a far better final product compared to what I did last year with the Vampire Lords videos, so I can actually push this out to you guys and say that uh, I'm actually happy with this match and with this commentary. Like, it's not the best commentary I've ever done, but, you know, honestly, honestly, compared to last year's Christmas special, I think I'm far happier with this one than that. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it off on that. Uh, yeah, and I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, so, yeah, once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Have, or, well, I hope you have happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This was our playthrough for No Gold Stronghold. There you go. That's the name I had for it. No Gold Stronghold. I like it. Either no Gold Stronghold or Low Gold Stronghold. I have to think about that before I release this video. But for the time being, um, as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Um, yeah, I had a blast putting this one together. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. I always talked about this notion of fighting only with uh, wolf raiders so it's nice to finally show you guys that that is well a thing 
Um, but yeah, that brings us to the conclusion of this Christmas special for No or Low Gold Stronghold. So uh, that's where I'm going to be wrapping it up. Or wrapping it up. So yeah, as always, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching, and have a fun time playing Heroes of Minor Magic 3. Peace.